Looks nice, don't it? Old oak tree. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but right, let's see, bring my big finger into the picture. Right there is an old board used for a tree stand years ago. This big old oak tree. But if you thought that was good, you can see all the all the branches and trees and bushes. And oh, creek, creek here. Looks good. Looks nice. Over there on the far side of the creek, don't know if you can see it, but there's some uh, wild onions and garlic coming in, and rose bushes are here, and everything's blooming and looking pretty. It is March here. We're in southern Ohio, west end, just north of Cincinnati, but everything's not as it appears. You see, this is actually not a creek, it's a storm drain runoff. And this little nice piece of woods with that tree stand and everything is actually right here by all the houses. So utilizing your resources and doing other things, yeah, there's probably some edibles you can get out of here. Well, actually, I know there is. But you got to think about this. The runoff coming from out of here is going to be from all these houses back here. All the chemicals that are going to come out of their lawns, and they've used everything else all going to come out of these houses and people bring their stuff back here here's somebody dumped some potted plants there's a big mound of grass clippings over there of course there's garbage everywhere you go it seems there's garbage even out in good places now <clears throat> this little field here that's got some nice stuff in it in the summertime spring everything's starting to bloom and there's some more a little along the little woods, wooded area, I guess, well, bushy area, we won't call them woods, they're not trees, shrubs. Uh, but that is right along the, the uh, pathway here of the storm drain. Water, definitely not good, comes out of the streets, got all the oil and grease and dirt and grime and everything else that people dump down there. Great water. Uh, nice wooded area, wooded lot used to be. And uh, there's another tree stand way down there and that other big tree way off in the distance way down here in this tree there's another tree stand down there I know that and uh, somewhere in the middle over here somewhere in the middle over here the boys have built a little tree hut little little tree house thing that dilapidated a couple years ago but uh, so when you're out doing your search and think about things now of course if the end of the world came I imagine that water would probably clean up. There'd be less people and less junk, but right now, you know, you get your wild edibles, you can think about it. There's plenty of room to grow gardens and people's yards and everything else, and everybody could do a lot of goodies for each other. And like I said, this wooded area here is nice to play in. I do come over here and get firewood because I just get the pieces that fall off the trees and I don't have to cut anything down. It is nice. Come over here and gotten arrow shafts and a few other good things I've picked out of here that I won't go into right now. And there are some edibles in there. You just have to be careful. Wash everything real good. Think about the chemicals that come through here. Uh, so, just a little two bits for today. Just something to think about. But it does look pretty. But you better realize where your water source is coming from. You better realize what you're dealing with.